Hi, I'm Chris Burns, and welcome to another edition of the Inside Scoop on Club Fitting. Today, our topic is grips and grip fitting. Your grip is your lifeline to hitting straighter golf shots. Most people know that as being one of the most important fundamentals in all of golf. Well, even if you aspire to hold the club correctly, or do, how can you expect to place your hands correctly or return the club face back to square if you don't have the proper grip or grip size? Well, today I'm going to share with you a variety of options and show you what's ideal for your game. There's no rhyme or reason why golf grips are the size they are. If you look at tennis rackets, racquetball, even baseball, the object we're swinging, much like a hockey stick, is much thicker than the typical golf grip. One of the most underappreciated elements of the golf swing is grip pressure. So for those of you who push, slice, and fade, you may be playing with a grip that's a little too small. It might not be your fault that you hit the ball to the right. And if you are playing a grip that's too small, you're going to find yourself having a difficult time trying to get your fingers placed on the club correctly. So if you can't hold it correctly, how can you expect to return the club face back to square? When your grip pressure exceeds about a 5 or 6 on a scale of 1 to 10, you're going to tend to leave that club face open through the impact zone if you are able to swing on the proper plane. Most golfers who play a club with a thin grip are going to find themselves wanting to start down with the hands and the arms, swinging a little bit over the top. And you may continually fight that because you're tense and tight in the upper body. A bigger grip can allow you to swing with a little bit better tempo better rhythm and square the club face. So let's bring it in for a close up and see what a good grip fit looks like. The ideal fit should look a little like this. While holding the club correctly, the fingers, the inner pincher fingers here on the left hand for you right handed golfers out there, should barely touch the palm of your hand. There may be a slight gap and it's okay to have some touching, but the last thing you want is your fingers digging into your palm. Just remember, your golf grip is your lifeline to better shots and lower scores. If you're looking for an alternative to improve your feel, an inexpensive way to add life to an old set, your golf grip is the way to do it. But before you go out and spend that money, make sure you get fit. Try some different clubs with different grips. Maybe try a larger size. If there's ever any doubt, your golf grip is likely too small. The benefits of a grip that is bigger greatly outweigh the benefits of a grip that's too small. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.